Hey friends, it's your girl Tara Plays, but you can call me Tara. And we are here today with the beginning of a brand new Let's Play, guys. It is called The Joyful Life Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. It is a 32 generation challenge, and I'm really, really excited to start. I um, have decided that I will no longer be doing the Sims 4 Family Dynamics Challenge. Um, I've done that before where I've like played all through Gen 1 and I loved it and then Gen, 3 was, Gen 2 was just a slower pace. But I am so excited with this and um, I am going to continue to post the I'm a Lover Challenge. So that's not going anywhere. You will get to see our girl Lottie until the death and then this is miss sayla mcconnell i think that's her last name um so this is our gen one heir i will go over the rules with you real quick for generation one i'll also tag the challenge down below in the description box if you guys want to follow along i did get this idea to do this challenge from miss lollipop sims so thank you so much lauren i've never even heard of this challenge until i saw your video and you just gave me so much inspiration so i just want to give a shout out to you if you guys don't follow miss lollipop sims go ahead and give her channel a follow she is an amazing simmer she is a big reason of why i even record and do let's plays of the sims 4 but back to the challenge so generation one is called the baking extraordinaire um, there was a warmth and coziness in rolling out dough, mixing up frosting, creating masterpieces with a piping bag. Most of your days spent whipping up new creations in the kitchen, enjoying the smell of a delicious apple pie baking in the oven. You dream of having everyone know your name and saying their cupcakes are the best I've ever had. So for the inspiration, we can have any inspiration. I chose the soulmate aspiration for Sayla just because she is a baker, but she also wants to meet the love of her life. She's a young adult. She wants to have kids. She wants to be in a committed relationship. Um, so the traits that she has is foodie. That's part of the challenge. And then you can roll and pick the rest of the traits. And we also have to buy, oh, she's done cooking her brown, um, her cup, her first batch of cupcakes. Hold on. <gasps> Sayla, those look so yummy. <laughs> she's like, look at her cute little face. <laughs> she's like, I did that for sure. Um, but the other traits that I gave Sayla were romantic and cheerful. She's just a happy person, and she just loves love. She loves to give love. She loves to receive love. Um, so those were her other two traits. And then the skills that we need to master are baking. Um, another thing that we have to do for Generation 1 is we have to sell our baked goods. We can either do that through a baking sale um, with a mod that has a bake sale event, which I did download by Little Miss Sam, sorry, Kiara Sims. Um, and then we can also create our very own bakery and sell from our home which we will plan on doing later on down the road. It's optional to le reach the level 10 in the baking career, but we are going to do that. So I think once, I don't know if we're going to get all the way to level 10, but later on in life, Sayla is going to open her own business, her own bakery, and sell and make money that way. So I don't know if we're going to need to actually complete the baker career, um, and then for our love life, we have to go on blind dates. It says blind dates are your best friend this generation. You must have a child with someone you go on a blind date with, whether it's an accident or planned. Um, you can marry the said sim if you wish, but it's not required that you get married. But like I said, Sayla is a hopeless romantic. Now that's not to say that she won't um, get pregnant on accident. She isn't on birth control right now, so it is a possibility, but I am going to have her get married. And then for how many kids she's going to have, I'm not really sure yet. I can see her having maybe two or three. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. And then there's two more things left. We have to bake something holiday themed for each major holiday. It says that um, this they recommend the Bobubs 
Granny's Cookbook, which I do have, or Oni's Food Mod for more options. And then we have to throw the best parties for our child or children full of yummy cakes and treats. So that is the um, overview of Generation 1. Like I said, I am so excited to play with Sayla. Um, she is just so cute. I love her so much. I was like, I haven't made a sim that has blonde hair yet. Or not yet, in a long time, and she has beautiful green eyes. Um, I'm gonna hop into Create a Sim right now and show you guys all of her outfits. All right, McConnell. Yes, I was right for her last name, but this is Sayla's first everyday outfit. Um, she has a very like laid back, casual style. She loves rock music, um, oldies, stuff like that. This is her second uh, everyday outfit. It's just a cute little dress you can see more of her tattoos as well and then this is her third everyday outfit she is just too cute i love her so much these bell bottoms give me life for her formal it's just a cute simple white dress some white um sandals you can see her big back tattoo she has a lot of tattoos guys and then for makeup it's just pretty simple straightforward just like a natural um eyeshadow and just a red lip for her athletic wear, she has a cute little rainbow top, um, some biker shorts with some tennis shoes. For her sleepwear, she has a few different options. These are her um, like lounge around the house oh. pajamas. This is what she sleeps in. And then this is if she were to get right out of the shower and she just threw some like undies on and like a quick tank top and she has her hair wrapped up for party she went a little bright her makeup oh. is bright pink got some cool little eyeliners some cute little earrings and then she has like a bright pink top to match her makeup and then orange bell bottoms for her swimwear she has a cute little bikini and then the second option is um, her cover-up option. This is if she's like poolside. She has her little cover-up skirt, flip-flops, and her sunglasses. And then for her hot weather, just a nice cute little pair of sunglasses, sun hat, um, tank top, some shorts. <laughs> Nothing major. You can see like her back tat fully with that one. And then for her cold weather wear, just a cute little knit hat, scarf, gloves, jeans, um, long sleeve shirt, nothing really major. So yeah, those are Sayla's outfits. I hope you guys like them. So now that I've showed you guys her outfits, I do just want to give you a quick little house tour of the um, Sayla's house. So this is the outside of Sayla's house. She has her like little beat up car, <laughs> her table to do her bake sales on. She has a little garden that I made her because she is into gardening. Um, so it's just a cute little starter garden and then this is just the outside it is two stories I did get this build layout from Rolo's four plans on Instagram I'll put the name in the video just so you guys can follow them on Instagram if you need any um, build ideas so we come up here hey Liza and we just walk in the staircase to go upstairs is right in front of you when you walk in and then to the left i just want to make it realistic so i built the house and whatever the funds we had left over were the funds we, funds we had left over um so sayla hasn't even finished unpacking she has some like boxes left we don't even have a living room just yet um we have to save up money to get like a couch and a tv for right now uh, and then you come over here and this is the kitchen this is where you Sayla will be most of the time it's pretty bland we just have um, a stove in an oven or oh my gosh an oven in a fridge for right now um, and then around the corner is the little dining room it's pretty tiny right now this little like hanging plant is so cute I love it so much hit play give some live liveliness in here um and then you come outside and this is just the patio to the backyard um it's like a pretty good sized backyard i'd say and then we come back inside over here is 
Um, the It's like a game room, but I think this is where Sayla is going to have her um, little live-in business. This is where she'll sell all of her baked goods in that room. To the right of us is the bathroom. It's pretty plain. This is definitely a house that's a work in progress and it's not Sayla's forever home. She might have her first or second kid here, um, but this is not where she's going to live for the rest of her life. So we just have like a cheap little shower, some towels, her cute little toilet, sink, mirror, little plant in the corner. And then you come out and across from there is the laundry room. Um, which is not finished just yet. We still don't have enough money for a washer dryer. We are gonna be working on that. And then to the left of that is Sayla's bedroom. Um, she just has a dresser and her bed in here. That's all we got. <laughs> like I said, this home is a work in progress, but I hope you guys like Sayla's cute little new home. So it is the welcome wagon. I am gonna have Sayla come introduce herself to our neighbors. Um, Eliza and Bob happen to be our neighbors. We're gonna say hello. Hi, my name's Sayla. Welcome, coming in, welcome to my home. She's like, oh, what are these boxes? <laughs> um, let's come discuss some interests with Eliza. I'm definitely gonna give them a makeover. <laughs> Oh, Bob is stuck outside. Oh, Bob, you know, where did you put the fruit, fruit cake? Uh, I don't know where he put it. But her and Eliza are getting along really well. Aww. I'm not gonna lie. They're be really cute friends. Um, let's ask about their careers. See what they do for them. Oh, Oh, it's um, Eliza is unemployed, <laughs> and what does Bob do? Bob ah, is a caterer at Make a Dish. Ah, oh, that's Eliza. cool. We're trying to be a baker. <laughs> the welcome while again has ended, and they're about to leave. Bye, guys. It was nice meeting you. We're going to put our way our cupcakes, and I'm going to have Sayla check her dating profile. Actually, I want to show you guys her dating profile first. So this is Sayla's dating profile on Meet and Mingle. It says her name is Sayla McConnell. She's a young adult. Um, she doesn't have any education. She is a baker. Her personality is cheerful, romantic, and a foodie. She likes physical intimacy. For family, she doesn't have any children, but would like to have children. Um, relationship history, she's never been in a long-term relationship. Turn-ons, she likes parent material, a great cook, and someone who loves the outdoors. Turn offs is bad bay vibes, and she doesn't like people who are minimalist. For her relationship preferences and goals, she does prefer exclusive relationships, and she is looking for something serious. And then her tagline is, I can bake until you love me. <laughs> and the message that she put underneath, like her bio, is, I love baking, spending time in my garden, and want to open my own bakery one day. I also would consider myself a hopeless romantic. And then it says, meet up with Sayla. So that is her little dating profile. It's too Me. cute. I do want to see if we can get go on a blind date. And then after the blind date, we'll probably wrap up the first episode. Oh, okay. It says, Sayla has been matched up with someone. She is arranging to meet up with them now. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I'm excited. All right. So... It says, meet and mingle, dates are rather informal, so you take the date where you want it to go. Get to know each other without jumping to romance, jump to romance without getting to know each other, or anything in between. Be your best self and good luck. So we are on a blind date with Paolo. Pa Palo. Um, so let's give him a friendly introduction. Uh, okay. I don't know if it's going to get romantic, but we have a sentiment right off the bat. What is it? What is it? Um, so her first her first impression of Palo is reasonable, and then his first impression of Sayla is fun to be around, and we have good compatibility. So that's good. Ooh, harpy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> 
Umbraza. Huh? Let's compliment his appearance. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're pretty cute. He's in a row. <laughs> Exchange oh, numbers. Um, discuss interest. Flirt. I'm just doing everything that Sayla wants to do that pops up here. Embrace. I mean, she obviously finds him attractive because she wants to do flirty things oh, with him. Sure Whether still. he... <laughs> oh wait, oh we're uncomfortable because oh. we're soaking wet. <laughs> he accepted our flirt. Aww. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, so we learned that Palo is single. Palo? I don't know how to say his name. See <laughs> why? He's so dumb. Okay, now Sayla is flirting on her own. Okay, get it, girl. I want to see how their little conversation goes without me controlling them. He's praising... Oh, exclusive relationships. So he also likes exclusive relationships. I am going to give him a makeover, guys. So this is not what he's going to look like. Let's congratulate him on his new job. Like, oh. Congratulations. <laughs> what is your job? <laughs> I mean, they're pretty good, like, with talking to each other. I just like to cue it up, you know. Um, let's ask him about his romantic interest. And we learned that he is a locker room attendant at the other sports team. Okay, okay. Okay, get it, Sayla. Get it, Sayla. Get it, get it, get it, Sayla. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's dancing. Yeah, Sayla. She's too cute, y'all. I love her so much. So so. All right, guys. So <laughs> it looks like Palo Palo. I don't really know how to say his name. He is leaving. He has somewhere to be. So I am gonna wrap up the first episode of this series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know now in the comments below if you guys like Sayla in Palo Palo, however you say his name, together. Definitely giving him a makeover. I mean, if they don't end up being boyfriend and girlfriend, or maybe they'll end up dating for a little bit. Um, maybe they're not end game, but maybe he'll be part of her life. We never know. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about them. And I hope you guys are so excited for this new Let's Play series. I am sorry to disappoint anyone who um and was enjoying the family dynamics challenge i just haven't had time to sit down and play it and i really haven't had any interest in it but i am so ready to pop up these videos with this and the i'm a lover challenge but if you did make it to the end of this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you never want to miss when i'm uploading go ahead and ding that notification bell i love you guys so much you're awesome and i will see you in the next video bye